masstutor.biz and massdvds.co.uk Lesson 38 Enlargement Part 2 and we're going to be considering enlargement and volume measurement. Consider a cuboid 3 cm by 5 cm by 2 cm and this represents it 3 by 2 by 5 and it's enlarged by scale factor 3. That means it's going to be three times longer, three times wider, and three times higher, because all the linear measurements are going to be multiplied by three. So here we have it three times longer, three times wider, and now it's twice as high. And now we have the full enlargement of scale factor three, because it's three times wider, three times longer, and three times higher. How many blocks in there? Well, in each layer there's nine, so altogether there's three nines, there's 27 blocks in there. So we can say that the volume factor is in fact three nines, 27 times as much. The scale factor, the linear scale factor was three. If we consider one face, we can see that that area is nine times bigger, so the area factor is nine. And there we have the connection of linear scale factor, area scale factor, and volume scale factor. So here we have the diagram, the original block, and the enlarged block. The height of this is 2, the height of this is 6. 3 twos are 6. The width of this is 3, the width of this is 9. 3 threes are 9. The length is 5, the length of this one is 15 object and image. All the linear measurements are three times longer. So we could in fact find the volume of this larger block by multiplying these three figures together. Or we could just work out the volume of this, 2 times 3 times 5, which is 2 threes to 6, 6 fives to 30, and then multiply that by the volume factor. In other words, the volume factor of 27. Let's consider this question. A cuboid is 4 by 6 by 10 and it's enlarged by scale factor 5. Find the volume of the enlarged cuboid. So let's look at method 1. The original cuboid is 4 by 6 by 10. So the volume is 4 6 is a 24, 24 times 10, 240 cubic centimetres. Now if we enlarge it by scale factor 5, all of these linear measurements are 5 times longer. The 4 will become 4 fives, the 6 will become 6 fives, and the 10 will become 10 fives. In other words, it's going to be 20 by 30 by 50. So the volume of the enlarged cuboid, the image, is going to be 2 threes to 6, 5 6 to 30, and three noughts, cubic centimetres. Let's look at method two. We've still got to consider working out the volume of the object cuboid, but now we're going to use the volume factor. Now the scale factor is five. If we were doing area, the area factor would be five squared, in other words, 25. Now the volume factor is 5 cubed, in other words 125. So if we take our volume of our object and multiply it by the volume scale factor, we get this answer straight away. I hope. Let's just check that we do. 240 multiplied by 125, we do. In an exam for this particular question, either method would be acceptable. However, in this question, we're told the volume of this prism is 24 cubic centimetres. And it's enlarged by scale factor 2, and we're asked for the volume of the enlarged prism. We have no other dimensions. So we'll have to do this one using method 2. If it's enlarged by scale factor 2, any areas would be have to multiply by the area factor, but any volumes we can multiply by the volume factor. 
So the answer is 824s. 192 cubic centimetres. Here we have a hexagon prism and its volume is 4 cubic centimetres. It's been enlarged by scale factor 10. So if we were considering the area of this face, we'd have to use the area factor. But as we're considering the volume, we'll have to use the volume factor. Because it's 10 cubed. So we'll take the volume of the original, the object, multiply it by the volume factor, and we'll have the volume of the enlarged hexagonal prism, the image. This question is a little bit different. The height of a cylinder is 4 centimetres and the height of a similar cylinder is 8 centimetres. We don't have to draw a diagram, but diagrams are quite helpful. Similar means that it is a perfect enlargement. It is enlarged in all respects similarly. So this is an enlargement of scale factor 2. All its dimensions, its linear dimensions, its radius, its diameter, its height, are all doubled. Could, the question continues. If the volume of the larger cylinder is 64 cubic centimetres, what is the volume of the smaller cylinder? So we've worked out the scale factor, the linear scale factor, by using these two dimensions. The question goes on to talk about the volume, so we need to know what the volume factor is. So if the scale factor is 2, if we were working with area, we would use the scale factor squared. We're working with volume, so we'll use the scale factor cubed. Therefore, the volume factor is 8. So, if the volume of this is 64, if I divide by the volume factor, we'll find the volume of the smaller cylinder. That's what it wants me to do. Lesson 38, Enlargement Part 2.